Hello and welcome. This is Varun, Technical Advisor, Design and Prototyping and Educational Consultant for Tutomash.com. In this session, we will be discussing about advanced drawing commands in AutoCAD. Spline is one of the inevitable commands in AutoCAD. It is usually used to draw a lot of complex designs in the software. It creates a smooth curve that passes through or near a set of fit points or that is defined by a vertices in the control frame. It can be used to draw various custom shapes in the drawing. And yes, spline is really difficult to handle with. Spline is a command which has a lot of inner commands in it. In this video, we will be discussing about the spline in very in-depth details and get to know what actually each inner command means. Now, spline is basically drawn in two methods, that is fit method and control vertices method. Let's see what is fit and control vertices. In fit method, it creates a cubic degree D spline by specifying fit points that the spline must pass through. So as you can see here in this diagram, we show the points where the spline must pass through, which eventually helps the spline to be drawn on those points. And the next method that we use to draw a spline is control vertices method, that is CV method, commonly known as in AutoCAD. It helps to create the spline by specifying the control vertices. As you can see here, it shows the control vertices and when you denote it, the spline is created in between like this. So each of these method have its own way of designing. So we will be dealing with in-depth understanding of these tools in this session. So let's see these two methods in the software. As you can see here, I have already drawn a framework of polyline like this. The height of the polyline is 5 and the gap of this polyline is 10. So you can create a sinusoidal wave which interacts with an amplitude of 5 and negative 5 and 0. So let's draw a spline. The shortcut for spline is SPL and press enter. As you can see here, there are different options available here. The first one is method. This method helps you to change the way of drawing the spline. Let me go to that inner command that is M and press enter. As we have discussed before, there are two different methods of drawing. Default it is fit now. You can change it to CV if you want. Let us discuss fit at this moment and I will press enter. Let me randomly draw the spline. Let us start from here, then let me go here, then here, then here, here. So like that, as you can see which all points you are showing, the spline passes through that point. So this method is known as fit method. And after drawing the spline, don't forget you have to press enter. If you press escape now, it will exit from the command without drawing the spline. So that means you have to press enter to exit from the command and to place the spline. Right, now let us do the same spline with the second method that is CV method and press enter. This time I will show the same points that is starting from this one, then this one, then this one, and this one. So now you can see you are actually showing the control vertices of the spline. And spline is built up in between those vertices, like this. Basically, control vertices method is more easy to handle the spline rather than fit method. It's regarding your need, which method you need to use. Now let's get to know each method in much more detail. Now that we have seen, spline can be drawn in two different method that is fit method and the CV method. Now each method is again subdivided into other methods which helps you to draw the spline in different shapes. The fit option is again divided as nodes. The node is a parameter by which the spline takes its shape. It is divided into three methods that is chord method, square root method and uniform method. Each method has its own way of drawing the spline. Similarly, in the CV method, it is divided into degree. Degree determines the shape of the spline in the CV method. There is 1 degree, 2 degree, 3 degree and many more till degree 10. Each degree has its own shape of designing. Now let's see these options in further detail. Nodes. As we have said that, nodes determines the shape of the spline in the fit method. It is divided into three, that is chord method, square root method and uniform method. The chord method or it is also known as chord length method. When you draw the spline with the help of chord length method, 
you can get a spline like this which is denoted by the green spline here. It takes the shape as shown in the figure like this. Similarly when we go for the second option that is a square root method or centripetal method. It takes the shape like this which is denoted in the red color here. It is found that it takes the shortest path to complete its journey among the points. And the last one is uniform method or it is also known as equidistance method. The blue colored spline denotes the equidistant method. As you can see here in the corners the spline take more lengthier path to complete its voyage. So this denotes that these three options determines the shape of the spline when it is drawn or plotted through the same points. Now let's see these three options in the software. So consider this as the points. Let me access the spline that is SPL and press enter. Before drawing the spline let me check the method is set to fit or not. Yes the method is set to fit and we are ready to start. When the option is set to fit you can see the option notes which comes under the command fit. The default value of notes is chord. Let me go to the notes and show you the other options in the notes that is square root and uniform. As we have found the default value is chord now and I will press enter. So let me draw in the chord method. Let me start my spline from here then go over here then come here here then this point this point this point this point this one, this one and this one and I will press enter to finish my spline. Similarly let us try drawing in the square root method. So for that let me type SPL and press enter. For the nodes this time I will change it to square root that is this option. So now you can see that the nodes is square root and the method it fit itself. So I will start my spline again from here like this coming over here then here then here like this it's very correct from here to here to here to here. So as you can see that the spline is taking the least path to cover the points whereas the previous method it took much more lengthier path than this method. And the last one is uniform method. So let's try drawing in the uniform method for that SPL and press enter. For the notes this time I will go for uniform option and I will start drawing my spline from here to here coming over here this point correct from here then this one then over here and this one. So like that you can see in this method the length is taking more farther at corners like this. So this spline is taking more lengthier space while plotting the points. So these are the three different types of method to draw the spline in fit method. Now let's see the other commands in the fit method. So for that let me start my spline anywhere like this. When you start your spline you can find two other options that is start tangency and tolerance. Start tangency means if you want to start your spline to tangent to any point you can give start tangency. And tolerance means it is the value that determines the deviation from the accurate point. So now the tolerance value is 0 and I will go for start tangency. I will give my start tangency point somewhere here like this. And for the next point I will give like this. So now you can see the spline get tangent to that point and continue like this. Drawing coming like this and like this like this. Now when you continue your drawing you can see there are additional options like this. Again it is end tangency, tolerance, undo and close. End tangency means if you want to end this spline tangent to any other point you can go for end tangency. Tolerance here is same it determines the value to deviate from the accurate point. Undo means suppose I want to undo my previous point which I have drawn I can use undo like U and press enter so it will be undo. And obviously we know the close that if you want to close it to the starting point you can use close. So let's go for the end tangency option and show this point like this. So this spline becomes ending tangently to this point like this. So now let's try to draw with some higher value of tolerance that is SPL and press enter. With the same chord method and fit mode I will start the spline again from here and this time for tolerance I will give a value 10 and press enter. I will show the same point at the starting tangency and I will draw to the next point. So now you can see it is deviating 
from the sun like this as the tolerance value has been changed. So it is deviating according to that. So tolerance determines how you want to deviate your spline from the accurate point. So like this you can toggle with the inner commands to draw your spline respectively. So now that we have completed with this section, let's go for the next one that is CV method and its inner command. So in the CV method we have the parameter degree. Degree determines the shape of the spline in CV method. We know as we enter the degree it changes the equation of the spline which eventually affects the shape of the spline. So that means you can enter a 1 degree spline which will be linear. So you can see here in the 1 degree it becomes a linear spline like this which is shown in the green color. Similarly if you give the value as 2 it becomes quadratic. So it becomes much more curved like it is shown in the red color. When you give 3 it becomes a cubic spline like this which is shown in the blue. So like that you can give the values up to 10 in AutoCAD and change the shape according to it. So now let's see these options in the software. So let us start the spline that is SPL and press enter. So this time I have to change my method from fit to CV method. Now you can see it has changed the method to CV. When the method is changed to CV, the parameter automatically changed to degree from nodes. So here you have to change the degree to change the shape of the spline. I will go for the degree option. Defaultly the value is 3 that is cubic degree equation is been applied to plot the spline. It is related to mathematics which give you the equations to plot the spline. So here the degree is 3. I will change the degree to 1 now and press enter. So now you can see the method is CV and degree is 1. I will start my spline from here, then next point, next point, next point, next point. So like this you can draw your spline which is linear in shape. Correct. And I will press enter. So this is a first degree equation spline or linear spline. Let us draw the spline again with degree equals 2 that is 2 and press enter. So now you can see the method is CV and degree is 2 and I will draw the spline from here then here, here, then here. So now you can see the spline gets much more curved rather than getting linear. This is known as quadratic equation that is the degree is equal to 2 and your spline has been plotted. The next one is degree equals 3 that is SPL for the degree I will give 3 and press enter. Same I will draw on the same points like this. Here you can see the spline is getting plotted in much more flatter way or the curve is getting more smoother. This is the cubic degree equation which has been plotted and your spline has been made. So like that you can enter the values up to 10 and change the shape of the degree. There are no further inner commands in CV method to toggle with the shape. Basically CV method is more easy to handle because you are showing the vertices of the spline. So that's the end of this session and we hope you understood well. Keep posting your queries and feedback and for more videos log on to www.tutomash.com. Thank you.